Hi everyone, and welcome to the channel, Collecting Baseball Cards. If you're a fan of baseball and love the thrill of collecting, then you've come to the right place. In today's video, we're going to share some amazing tips and tricks on how to collect baseball cards cheaply and effectively. So, whether you're a newbie or a seasoned collector, make sure to watch till the end because you don't want to miss out on these valuable insights. Let's dive right in. How to collect baseball cards cheaply and effectively. One of the best ways to start collecting baseball cards on a budget is to visit garage sales, flea markets, and thrift stores on a regular basis. This allows you to regularly check for new additions. To people's collections they may be selling off for cheap. Go in with the mindset that you never know what hidden gems you may find for just a few dollars. Be sure to thoroughly look through boxes of cards and albums for stars mixed in with commons. You never know when you may score a valuable rookie card someone overlooked. Researching hot players and years beforehand will help you spot potential steals. Bring a phone to quickly look up recently sold prices of anything interesting you come across, so you know if something is truly a bargain. Staying persistent and checking various local sales regularly is key as the top finds usually go fast. Another great cheap option is to visit card shop bargain bins. Most have boxes full of discounted commons, but you still never know when you may find a $10 card marked down to just a quarter. Sorting thoroughly and being meticulous is a must here. Consider tracking down the shop owner's info as well and see if they'll alert you to big lots of cards they purchase occasionally looking to unload cheaply in bulk. Building those types of connections can pay off if they remember you as someone willing to take common boxes off their hands for inexpensive. One way to collect baseball cards very cheaply online is by using eBay's best offer feature. On less graded individual cards and common team sets, search for recently ended auctions of similar items to get a sense of fair market value, then make reasonable offers well below the buy it now prices. Be patient and persistent, as a decent percentage may be accepted especially on stale listings. Just be sure any items you make offers on have best offer enabled on their pages. You can also save money by watching for auctions of larger lots containing hundreds of common selling for just pennies apiece when broken down. It's important to set maximum bids as prices can get inflated on popular teams or players. Be wary of high shipping on heavier lots from overseas sellers as well. For best results, look for domestic US sellers with established positive feedback to help ensure smooth transactions. Establishing an eBay watch list of key search terms is very helpful for getting alerts on timely new listings fitting your collecting interests and budget. Along similar lines, Check Facebook Marketplace and local trading, sell groups regularly for people unloading collections. Locally, to avoid shipping costs, connecting with other collectors in your area face to face is a great way to trade duplicates for needs as well. To exponentially grow your collection without much cash outlay, most collectors are very willing to work trades if you show interest in their dupes versus just wanting to buy. Getting involved in your local card show or convention scene can spawn valuable connections for networking, trading, and learning about the hobby from experienced collectors. Many are more than happy to provide mentorship and guidance to newcomers showing passion and dedication to building their sets. This level of community immersion and knowledge is priceless for further cutting costs and maximizing your collecting dollars down the road. A proven strategy for collecting large sets and teams very cost-effectively is to break the project into phases. First, focus on acquiring all common base cards which are usually very inexpensive to complete. If purchased smartly in bulk lots, you'd be amazed how many listings stayed 1,000 card lot and are only $20 to $30 total delivered. While not glamorous, methodically working through commons is gratifying and lays the foundation. Next, shift focus to finding affordable trades and bargain bin pickups of key stars, rookie cups, variations, parallels and any numbered cards outside elite condition standards. Usually collectors are most eager 
to trade away these mid-tier cards which have some recognition and value without premium grading. Lastly, save ultra-high-end vintage stars, rookies, autographs, and immaculate specimens requiring substantial cash outlay, or trades utilizing high-value pieces for your grails to be acquired over time. Having realistic expectations combined with strategic sequencing of your collecting priorities is paramount for building complete sets on a limited budget, supplementing card purchases with productive trading and relentless scouring. Of online auctions and shop bins will pay huge dividends if you're willing to put in quality time and due diligence. Perseverance is key, as waiting for the right deals to emerge is more important than settling or overpaying just to complete holes prematurely. With disciplined planning and resourcefulness, almost any collector can exponentially grow a collection affordably with sound approach. The final cost-effective route for accumulating baseball cards when short on funds is investing time into organizing and cataloging your existing collection for consignment and resale online. Properly grading, describing and showcasing your cards, especially any high-dollar autographs, relics or serial numbered prospects primed to break out, lays the foundation. Tapping into the voracious secondary market allows collectors to continually rotate stock and reinvest proceeds into new collection goals. Doing so requires diligent research into recently sold comparables and present market trends, demands to accurately price your cards competitively yet profitably. Careful photography highlighting cards best attributes aids selling efforts greatly, as potential buyers often pass over lesser photos obscuring condition details. Selling in complete sets. Team Lots of larger multi-card invoices spreads fixed costs over more inventory for optimal returns. As well, maintaining positive seller ratings through on-time track shipments and honest card descriptions ensures repeat buyers and word-of-mouth promotion with determination and some initial capital from existing inventory. Dedicated collectors can bootstrap collecting budgets endlessly through recycling inventory gains back into new collection horizons according to their evolving interests. Approach selling as an ongoing venture, not a one-time profit opportunity for sustainable benefits over the long term. Implementing resale as a cost-effective pillar allows passionate collectors to collect far above their means. Budget-conscious collectors have myriad affordable options available if they're willing to put in time and effort. Leveraging sales, trades, online snipes, and resale ventures when combined with strategic priorities provides a sustainable blueprint for exponential collection growth even on limited means through maximizing every collecting dollar. Diligent researching of the marketplace precedes each acquisition to validate bargains and minimize risks. Building local community connections helps minimize costs while growing enjoyment. Implementing smart sequencing of short- and long-term collection goals provides intrinsic motivation that spurs hobby dedication through completion milestones. With perseverance and resourcefulness, almost any level of baseball card collection may be attained budget-friendly through balancing cash outlays with creative accumulation avenues. Thanks for being a part of this awesome card collecting community. Don't forget to subscribe and never miss an update.